Star Wars has seen a lot of petrification in recent times. But it is surely not the first time we have seen it on screen. But what does petrification refer to in mythology and what does it mean in Star Wars? Watch this video to find out. Petrification is defined as turning people to stone. It's a common theme in mythology and folklore, as well as in a lot of fantasy and fictional novels and series. The legends of Medusa, the Basilisk, the Svartalfar and the Cockatrice are all associated with petrification. You know the Basilisk from the Harry Potter series. The snake and dragon-like beast that lives underneath the school and turns whoever looks it in the eye into stone. Star Wars has recently played around with a lot of petrification in the last few years. We saw the petrified Jedi and Sith on the planet of Malachor. In the High Republic, there are nameless creatures that feast on the Jedi's life energy until they turn to dust. Petrification in Mythology If there is a weirdly placed rock in the middle of nowhere, there will no doubt be a story to go along with it. More often than not, there will be a story that involves someone being turned into stone or being petrified. Amos Brown noted that fossils are to be found all over the world, a clear evidence to human beings from earliest times that living beings can indeed turn into stone. Previous to the modern scientific accounts of how fossils are formed, the idea of magicians or gods turning living creatures into stone seemed completely plausible in terms of these cultures. The petrified bodies on Malachor have been inspired by the volcanic eruptions that devastated Pompeii and left behind impressions of figures. Stories about petrification are rooted in Greek mythology. The most famous tale is that of Medusa and her two sisters. These mythical creatures were collectively known as the Gorgons. They are usually shown to be reptile-like women, with snakes for hair and gazes that can turn anyone who looks straight at them to stone. In the later myths, the hero Perseus slays Medusa with the help of a magical mirror and a scythe. In the Odyssey, Poseidon turns a ship full of people into stone to punish them for helping Odysseus. Lithia is another mythological character who has been mentioned in Ovid's Metamorphosis. She was so vain that she was turned to stone by the gods. Hermes, while once stealing Apollo's cattle, was seen by Battus, who agreed to keep this a secret. Hermes, however, came back in disguise to test Battus, and Battus failed the test. As a result, he was punished by being turned into stone. In Cornish folktales, stories of petrification are used to explain the origin of prehistoric monuments, such as stone circles, monoliths, and other megalithic structures. Petrification in Star Wars In all the real-world mythologies and folklore, the people who have been turned to stone remain in that state forever, as an example to other people of what not to do. In Star Wars, Yoda sends Ezra to Malachor to help him learn that winning a war is important, but how you choose to win is even more important. During the Battle of Malachor, the Sith fired the weapon and it petrified everybody in the nearby region. The Great Scourge of Malachor was a Jedi attack on the Sith Temple located on Malachor. In the battle, Sith activated the super weapon of the Temple, killing all the warriors on both sides, leaving behind just their petrified bodies. As a result, the planet was declared forbidden by the Jedi. The petrified bodies of Jedi and Sith were left on Malachor. Is there a link between Malachor and the Nameless? Perhaps the dark side. The weapon on Malachor was created by the Sith and powered by a massive kyber crystal, which surely had to have been powered by the dark side, seeing as it is a Sith weapon. The Nameless seemed to feed on fear. They create visions in a Jedi's mind of their greatest fears, and then feed on those fears, draining their life force, until all that is left is dust. As Yoda says, fear is the root of the dark side people easily become attached, be it to things, other people, power or money. Then they become scared of losing the things that they get. If they think someone is trying to take that thing away, they become angry and start hating those people. This is basically the thematic cycle of the dark side. Maybe the creators of Star Wars were trying to say that if you give in to fear, you will be angry at all times. This will drain your energy and will ruin you in a way that you will be just a shadow of your former self or the person you are meant to be. Petrification might be a possible punishment for giving into fear and anger. It also serves as a tale of caution on Malachor. This could be a possible explanation of petrification in Star Wars. What is your interpretation of petrification in Star Wars? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like and share it. 
Subscribe to our channel for more.